better than gold. This mysterious mineral unknown to Earth was discovered in a meteorite coming to Earth in 1951. Sputnik News and also uh, from uh, Medical Daily. The Wedderburn meteorite, first discovered in Australia in 1951, thought to have originated from the core of a dead planet. Mysterious alien mineral was discovered inside this meteorite, which landed, of course, on our Earth almost 70 years ago, according to a report by Space.com on Thursday. The mineral does not occur naturally on our Earth and has only been observed in a man-made form according to the age. Scientists dubbed it Ed Scott's Tite after Edward R.D. Scott, the cosmochemist at Manoa's University of Hawaii, Ed Scott Tite. Scott was the first to discover the mineral formula as far back as 1970 as a lab creation. According to author Chai Ma, the senior staff scientist and mineralogist at Caltech, the mineral is made up of a special blend of carbon and iron previously only available through artificial creation in the lab or inside smelters and was given no name, which is standard procedure when labeling any non-naturally occurring mineral. Ma told Life Science that the weather burn meteorite likely split off from an asteroid which somehow got knocked off its course and then headed towards our Earth. He said every mineral has a voice and its own story to tell. Each new ET material represents a distinctive formation environment and can provide insights into processes active in the solar nebula, on asteroids, the Moon and Mars. He went on to explain that it most probably came from the shattered remains of a small planet which collided with another celestial body and the results after the elements themselves slowly cooled down. The meteorite from which the mineral was discovered was named Wedderburn after the town where it was seen in Victoria, Australia in 1951. The rock was lemon-sized, so it was quite tiny. It was around 7.4 ounces, 210 grams in weight, and according to the Museum's Victoria Collection of Space Rock's current home. The Museum of Victoria's senior curator of geosciences, Stuart Mills, said, that the finding is extremely rare, and he explains, we have discovered 500,000 to 600,000 minerals in the lab, but fewer than 6,000 that nature's done itself. The Wedderburn meteorite is colored red and black and covered in scars due to its long travel through space. Researchers from around the world have examined it to try to decipher the meteorite's content and its origins. Using an electron beam microscope and electron probe, researchers in California's Institute of Technology, Caltech, conducted a test on a fragment of a space rock in 2018 and discovered this unknown material, the unknown mineral. And from what they're saying, it's better than gold. Weddenberg meteorite found better than gold, found alongside of the road in Wedderburn, the remote Australian gold rush town. The strange looking chunk of space rock baffled scientists for decades, measuring 210 centimeters splattered with red spots. It does not look anything like a meteorite, and thanks to new research, we now know why. Per a recent study by Caltech, Meteorologist, mineralogist Chi Ma, the red and black rock reveals to contain our first ever natural encounter with a mineral they called Ed Scottite. The mineral is apparently the rare type of iron carbon. It's never been found in nature before. Since its discovery, numerous researchers already uh, have uh, examined the rock, so much that only one third of the regional specimen now remains the rest of it taken away in a number of slices for examination. As of now, what remains after the specimen is held in the geological collection in Australia's 
Museums Victoria. Previous analysis of this slice has revealed that the meteorite also contains traces of naturally occurring minerals such as gold and iron. Traces of rare minerals have also been found including tyanite, triolite, troilite, camasite, and schrebersite. However, the study led by Ma provides the first ever instance of edscotite, and it's a non-naturally occurring mineral, named after its expert cosmochemist Edward Scott. The distinct atomic formulation behind escotite is thought as one that does not occur naturally until now. And they said, as we said before, we've discovered 500,000, 600,000 minerals in the lab, fewer than 6,000 that nature's done itself. Stuart Mills, who is senior curator of Museums Victoria's Geosciences, said he is not involved in the study. And following this discovery, Escotite is now reported as an official member of the IMA's Mineral Club. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece. In Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.